Tesla gets a lot of attention for their smart app, and rightly so. Here it is on an iPhone 5. Now, it's been updated recently, and you can see the usual and familiar outline of the car there. And we'll move this in just a little bit so you can see it better. So right now my wife is actually driving it. Our car is named Serena, so the name appears. And it has uh, the kind of uh, menu settings you would expect. You can change notifications and, and things like that. You can also start the car from the app, which is new. And you've seen the screenshots. Here's the control uh, area, which also animate the doors opening and closing and the hatch opening and closing. You can set the charge limit. Right now it's telling me that the car is in motion, so of course there's no need to open the port. And you can also turn the climate control on and off uh, and set the temperature depending on whether it's cold outside and you want to warm the car up or whether it's hot outside and you want to cool it down. But what I didn't see when I looked on most of the internet is the dynamic tracking of the car. There it catches up. So there's a slight lag from when I last had it on. You get, not only do you get the car uh, a GPS uh, as it's there, and she's almost at her destination actually, but you get a representation of the screen that's in the car, of the actual uh, odometer, and speedo or speedometer I should say, including throttle out and the regen. And um, of course she's going down a parking lot around the school. But this is very handy for seeing how the car is being driven. So now she's going to get out. Now it's parked. There goes the door opening up, and that's her leaving the car. Uh, so it's a very clever app in that regard, but the tracking, uh, I didn't realize that it actually moved and gave you that ability to see how the car is being driven. So now she's parked, and you can see it's nearly space accurate, although the orientation of the car is a little bit off because I'm sure she didn't park it that crookedly. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And uh, in case you lose your car, if you go back to that screen, you can actually have it tell you where the car is. So you can put in where you are, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to you know where I live necessarily. But I guess I did do it. And then you can also uh, have it give you directions to the car. So I happen to know where my car is, so I'm not too concerned. But anyway, uh, that is the Tesla app, as maybe you haven't seen it, tracking the actual car movement.